I'm going to make a motion for the minutes of August 31st. Sure. I'm going to say that we adopt the minutes of August 31st. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. similar to ours, it operates differently, I think. Yeah, it's a little different, um, but but some of the same type businesses or, or structures fall into the same type of conditional or special use for this. Uh, we do things a little different over the years, but, but all in all, uh, no city over here has the three mile for starters. Right. Margaret has that three mile territorial. Um, so which, which actually, if, if, if they have the most problem in zoning, it's the three mile on who, who's taking it, who's regulation. It's, 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 I'm glad, we're really glad we didn't do that. Yeah. You know, we do give, because we told the cities we would give them the respect that if there's something close, 
or notify them of a hearing. So, and we've done that every time. So, so yeah, so that was a, that was a good heads up a long time ago. Not to do that. So, but yeah, so zoning zoning would, would take place. And then, of course, KEAT would step in and, and they would have more regulations than we would. So it really doesn't make any I mean, if we didn't have the commissioners be able to not have it, I mean, zoning's going to take effect anyway. Mm -hmm. It's really, we could rescind that, yeah. and zoning would just take over. Yeah, but there's, in the zoning, there, there's stipulations against corporate farming anyways. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we're, we're, one thing that we kind of have to remember, you know, is, is our, the resolution, I guess, there would be a, with it in place, there's no discussion about having one. Is that right? Okay. No, there's not any. Okay. There's nobody at all inquiring. Okay. It's the it's the, the state of Kansas. Um, you know, is making some effort, especially on the dairy, to, to try to make Kansas a you know a desirable location for dairies to be. But Stafford County is patently off the list because of that resolution. You know, I suppose the same goes for, for hogs, but there's nothing, I don't know, there's but even a, as much. Here's other regulations, Carl specifically said something there, yeah. about corporate farming of this nature. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that trumps this resolution they did, right? Well, what I was trying to clarify, because I'm not real familiar, familiar with the resolution, is, is with the resolution, that's why I was asking. Nobody even would even talk about it, right? It's just completely prohibited. Oh, okay. So what that would do, based on corporate structure, okay. though. So what that would do then? But, but is the that would still is, open the door. The zoning as well prohibits it in your zoning book, because I remember reading through that when I was on the zoning board about okay. the corporate farming was prohibited. Hmm. Just flat out. I, that's what I'm asking I would have to review that. Well, I would have to review that part. Because we tried finding that, that binder, that you, the, the zoning binder the other day, last meeting, we couldn't find it. Okay. I've got one in my office I know. Okay. I'd have to refresh on that one then. We haven't used that. Uh, but I... For what it's worth, the state of Kansas doesn't seem to, at least the Department of Agriculture, doesn't seem to have record of what our county policies, you know, zoning policies are. But they do have record of the resolution. resolution. Right. But I guess that's where I would like to know what which trumps which. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, do, do, are we following this resolution? Or are we following our zoning? I suppose we're passed by the county level, Within right? Within three years. I mean, that's what I don't understand. Is what? What are we following? Are, are we, I would say, I would it say appears to me the resolution by, in effect, but I hear what you're saying that, you know, if you were really kind of like almost litigating it, right. which would take a precedent, it's a good question. Yeah, I don't. I, again, I think by, the, by. Or what, what in the zoning regulations specific, you know, if it does specifically say corporate farming is prohibited, why, did it, why does it say that? I mean, does it say it because of this resolution? You know, or does it say it because that's what the lawyer drew it up said? I would almost say back then, and then we probably haven't really looked at that, you know, I can't remember where it is, that, where it is in there. Yeah, it, it, everybody was probably panicked at that time. Right. And so they covered it here. And, and, and well, that might probably, be something why we're redrafting our zoning that's right. Stuff to really look into. Yeah, everything that has changed. Or is the because we're actually in that process right now. It wasn't yeah. aware of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, there's a lot of things that's going to be added to it. Specified things that's been over the last 15 years that's been in other counties. We're going to implement it here, and then also we have another city that's not going to join us. It's well, I don't really yeah. see the need to have the okay. county resolution if, if we got zoning in place.
I, well, I, I have a double whammy. Well, I know, but I, I think I would, before we make a drastic move on rescinding a, a resolution, I would rather get clarification on okay. what, the, what that says. On okay. what, the, what the zoning says and really kind of know where we're going to go. Yeah, we need to find out what it says. Um, but I would think in the right location. I wouldn't have a problem with the dairy farm. I think it would be, like, we've got several topics. I, I a straw, a, a straw poll would be kind of interesting to information, I think, and direction on stuff like this. I mean, relatively inexpensive to do as well. Because they did one when they did this motion, or this, when they did the rescinding The economy, the way it is now, I would think it would be a lot more favorable than what it was back then. It's one of those things too that if you if you're gonna ask people their opinion, I hope that we make enough effort to educate them about what the full issue is too, or you know, otherwise people can can say yes or no. Well, I mean, here's how it was read then. I mean, I don't know. Take it how you read it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'd to me, as much the issue, too, is just the discussion house. leading to the direct question, right. you know? But well, I think there should be more than two questions. I feeling like back then there's a lot of knee-jerk reactions. There, uh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of, but, well, a lot of people didn't understand, too, or not understand the corporate structure of that either. But again, to me, corporate is just a legal designation. You can be a, I mean, a lot of well, you could be I was going to say, I, I want to know whether, if, if we truly have no corporate farming in this, allowed in this county, then what's every business name that's a farm? Yeah, I just pulled it. Or LLC, or right. if you could be a sole proprietorship and have 10,000 cows if that's the way you choose to I mean, that's what operate. I, I, that's why I was, that question of is in a zoning, I mean, what good is that if we're... <laughs> and even that I mean, idea of family, it gets to be corporate farm and family farm. They're for, equally like have, political terms more than they are no, really governing approaches, you know? I mean, corporate <laughs> farming is probably not the right word to be using there. But. And it might just prohibit the swine and dairy from corporate, you know, not necessarily production. You know, there was an effort, it fell through most recently, but there was an effort, and I'm not sure that the state wouldn't, again, if the right opportunity presented itself, um, try to cultivate some poultry industry in Kansas. You know, and now we'll get probably <laughs> that's opening up another can of worms, but it's the same concept one way or the other, and I think when you get to the environmental side of things, they're going to, um, whether it's poultry or, you know, they'll count one cow as equal to uh, 200 chickens or something like that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they will measure the environmental impact more than they will the size of the company. Yeah. I remember taking that very regularly. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I'll find your answers for this. Well, keep it pretty busy, though. Well, you think, you know, you think of corporate <laughs> farming, if you think of you know, years back, you think corporate farming is well, mm -hmm. the Chinese, the, oh. the East Coast, you know, companies coming in and just taking over. Whereas, like you say now, how many corporate farms do we have? And there are corporate farms and there are non-corporate farms. Yeah. So the Okay, so my interpretation of it would have been more, you know, like say a car deal or something like that. And yeah. to me, that's the corporate side of things. But they really don't do very much production, agriculture. They do involved in it, but they don't really do the production ag, which is, I think, what we're, what a lot of corporate farming laws are trying to control. Now, isn't there a California dairy out by Syracuse? Yes, all the ones the there is there. one at Syracuse for sure. I'm pretty sure you're right. It's I don't know about that one. Well, he's got city. But is it is it an outside? Yeah, I don't check it out. I think so. I cut kind of a, a bunch of locals as a co-op. And then the one that you listen to. That's mm -hmm. more local pans and Because <coughs> I know there's, but there's a lot of hay that's corporate. from here out, out there. I think it'd be neat if they had one here. Keep those trucks off the 281. I would get the dairy. I think it would open up some possibilities for cheese processing. Good. Everybody agrees. But they're trying to post to their house. They're, they're trying to pay somebody. You can, you can ask your question and are you in favor of dairy farming as long as it's outside of five miles from your house? At least 10 from mine. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem right there. And west of the house. Ten miles, yeah. Before it's out there, somebody in the backyard. I don't think you can be too much. I know, I'm thinking north. Look at that north wind. Oh, oh. It's usually coming from the south. Dillon's. 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 Dillon
They went over the summer. Really? He's a Cubs fan. Yeah, so this That's pretty deep place. place. Yeah, so it's close. So we walked all the way around it when Jimmy was living up there. It was pretty neat. The game was just over, and the wall behind the stadium opened up, and Sammy Sosa drove out there on his motorcycle. That's pretty cool. <laughs> drove right by us. I said, that's Sammy Sosa. <laughs> Nobody else in my family had a clue. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, said, well, that's a little bike, and you said, well, that's just a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Not a great neighborhood, but... It is not, is it? Well, but, uh, you, you, you go down the night around the Indianapolis 500, go down, that's not a good spot. Really. That's... Well, a lot of those old stadiums aren't old. Sarah Hildebrand lived Warriors. right beside me. We got off the hill, went to her house, and walked around there with her. She said, just look straight ahead. I'm not going to have a problem. Brett and I were laughing and making comments. She said, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you never have problems looking for me. Yeah. One guy walked by and I said, which brings me to my next point. Don't smoke crack. <laughs>